In this video I show you 8 quick refactoring tips that will make your code look much cleaner and more Pythonic and at the end I will show you one VS Code and PyCharm extension that can help you in finding those refactoring patterns. So let's get started. Number 1. Merge nested if statements. Let's start pretty simple. Instead of having nested if statements like this, just merge them into one. Number two, use any instead of a loop. Here we want to check if there is at least one positive element in a list. The longer solution is to loop over all numbers, check the current number and then break once the condition is true. But for this task, there exists a dedicated method in Python, the any function. We can just write has positives equals any n greater than zero for n in numbers. Any returns true if any element of the iterable is true. So this is much shorter and more Pythonic than manually looping. Number three, pull statements out of for or while loops. A lot of times you see loops where a variable is defined inside the loop, but it never changes. These are unnecessary operations, so just pull it out of the loop and then you only have to create it once. Number four, remove inline variables that are only used once and are immediately returned. This is something I see very often. A variable is defined inside a function at the end and one line later it is immediately returned. If it's clear what the function is doing, just return the result directly. This is more concise and avoids an unnecessary variable. The only time a variable can still be helpful is if with one look it's not clear what the function is doing and then you can give your last variable a meaningful name and use it as self-documenting code. Number five. Replace an if statement with an if expression. Instead of using the if else statement to set the value of a variable, you can just set this in one line with the if expression like so. This refactoring technique is a little bit debatable though. Some people still prefer the first option and this is just fine. Let me know in the comments which one you think is more readable. Number six, add a guard clause. When looking at this code, it's hard to quickly grasp what's going on here. There are multiple if else statements and multiple indentations. Once you look closer, you might realize that the first if statement covers almost the whole function code, only at the end we have the corresponding else clause where we just return false. We can take this else clause and move it to the very beginning. In this case, the condition is if not is instance and then we immediately return. This is also known as a guard statement. So if the condition is not true, we don't execute the rest of the function code. This way we got rid of one else clause and now there is one less level of indentation in the whole code. This looks much cleaner and is easier to understand. Number 7. Move assignments closer to their usage. This is the improved code from the last example, but it still takes a few moments to understand what's happening here. So we want to check if we should wear a hat or not. And the logic is this, if it's raining we always say true and if it's not raining we say true if the hat is stylish. One easy way how we can drastically improve the readability of this logic is by moving the assignments closer to its usage. Let's get the weather right before using the if statement and now the fashion and the style variables are only needed in the else clause so move them down. Now it should be a lot clearer what's going on. Remember my tip from number 4? We could further shorten the code and immediately return the evaluate style result. However, in this case I also like the is stylish name because it lets you know that if the hat is stylish you say true and otherwise false. So here it's fine to leave the extra variable. Number 8. Simplify sequence checks. This is another thing I see very often. When you need to check if there are elements in a collection, for example in a list, you don't need to write if length of your list is greater than zero. You can simply say if your list. This is the PEP8 recommended way and it's also known as truth value testing. It is possible because in Python empty sequences and collections evaluate to false. So this can be applied to strings, tuples, lists, dictionaries and sets. Alright, that's it. As I mentioned in the beginning, there exists an extension for VS Code and PyCharm that helps you identify these refactoring patterns. This extension is Sorcery. Sorcery is a free extension that you can easily install and which then gives you helpful refactoring hints. I will leave you a link in the description if you want to install and test it. I hope you enjoyed these tips and if so, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel and then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!